Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and in this video I want to show you some of the features already included on, on Windows 10 technical preview. Some of them are still on the early stages and some of the others are already uh, uh, included, fully included in the operating system and I just want to highlight them because uh, we talked about a lot of the features but there's some specifics that uh, nobody talked about and they're not well known. Okay, let's get us started. Uh, from a starter, we know that in Bill 9879, the uh, uh, the notification button now has been moved to the uh, to the system tray, and you can access by just you know clicking the button right there. But Microsoft also added uh, a keyboard shortcut that you can e to easily access to these notifications, and that is using Windows A. As you can see. I can't I can show you the uh, the keyboard, but just if you want to try it yourself, just use the win, uh, Windows key and A will bring the uh, uh, the notifications the the new uh, action center. Uh, then one of my favorites it's that uh, on the on Microsoft is doing some improvements on the uh, on the command prompt, which is a uh, long time overdue. We know that um that we that we can now double click and expand uh, edge to edge the um, the command prompt so this is really nice but one of the features that has been added in in build 9879 is the ability to uh, full screen the command prompt like um, really similar to what we used to see in Windows 95 in Windows 95. I've been wearing this for a long time and I really like that Microsoft has actually included this on the uh, on the newest build. So to actually full screen uh, the command prompt you have to use a, a, a shortcut and that is um, pressing A um, I mean the Alt key and enter. You just press it and now you have a full screen of the uh, uh, of the command prompt and if you also can see you can see a translucent that is a little bit transparent and I can see actually the uh, the desktop from the command prompt and you you can actually enable that if you like that's been since uh, I think it's the uh, uh, build 98 um, 9841 the first release and let me show you how to do that and just to get off of the uh, full, uh, full screen and command prompt just uh, press the, uh, uh, just use the, the same shortcut uh, once again, the Alt Enter, and you go back to the uh, to the normal size uh, command prompt. So to add transparency to the command prompt, the only thing you have to do is just uh, right click on the uh, on the top right here and go to Properties, and then on experiment and on the experimental tab, make sure that it's enabled, and then just choose the opacity. Of how uh, you know how much transparency you like on, on the console, you can change that, and you see it gets more transparent. So that's a really nice nice addition to uh, to the operating system, and I like to see Microsoft improving uh, some of the tools that has been used more for IT professionals. Um, uh, the other thing that Microsoft have been uh, 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 changing on the latest build of uh, uh, Windows 10. It's a it's a uh, OneDrive, and now you can access to more settings. Just right click the uh, the cloud, go to settings, and now because OneDrive uses uh, selective uh, syncing, so it doesn't have a placeholder anymore, or at least for now. You have to choose what folder you want to sync, and you can just uh, go to the settings, choose folders, and then click choose folders, and then select what folders you want to sync to your desktop or you can sync everything but this you know like if you have a lot of data this will occupy a lot of space on your on your local drive once you select the uh, the folders that you like uh, click OK and the sync will start now there is another um, uh, feature that Microsoft has added in, into this newest build and that is uh, system compression and that's on the uh, disk cleanup section uh, it allows to uh, compress a, a binary file files and other type of uh, uh, files inside of your system that will 
um, dramatically reduce the size of the uh, installation files and programs in, in, uh, on, Windows, on Windows 10. I try this on this is a virtual machine that I'm running, but I don't seem to to get the uh, uh, the specific option. It might not be supported or it might not be totally implemented yet, but it's there. Trust me, it's, it's there. And and even though it is using compression, uh, you might think that would uh, uh, have a performance issues, but if you're using a piece, uh, you know, a computer running you know, one of the latest uh, Intel um, uh, processors. It doesn't have to be the faster, like, you know, Core, I, uh, Core i7 or, you know, the the ultimate versions with, you know, with a, a Core i5 or anything that's, you know, core branded and, you know, it's one of the newest CPU. Uh, you won't see any uh, performance issues using the, um, the system compression on this cleanup. So that's something that's just, I just want to talk to you about. It's there, and it's it's not available in this virtual machine, but it's there. You can look and just do a search on, uh, online. I even have a, a post on PewDiePieInfoTech.com that has a screenshot of the uh, of the of the new options. Okay, so now let's move on into uh, dialog boxes. As you remember, uh, when you you know, every time that you use uh, Windows and you need to, and Windows need to ask you for permissions or or rights or you know something's going on in your system, you'll be presented with a dialog box. And as you can, let me let me see if I can bring something up here, so you can see. You see, you get this uh, dialog box, but what happens is that um in in Windows A we uh, we got changed to a, a full screen uh, version of that dialog box that doesn't work really well when we're moving towards to a more desktop like uh, operating system with windows 10 moving away from the uh, uh, full screen uh, applications and now we can actually have a mix of uh, desktop applications and uh, uh, desktop application and modern apps. So what Microsoft is doing is uh, re rethinking the way a Dell box sh showed up on the uh, on the desktop. I just want to show you how it looks right now. It's not final, but if um, it's not implemented system wide, so one thing you can do to test this uh, this new Dell box and see it for yourself is going to the uh, PC settings. And going to users and accounts, and then signing options. And I know this for sure is going to pop up the uh, the new dialog box. And you just click and I can pin, for example, and click add. You'll see the uh, uh, the new dialog box, which is a lot different and it actually blends with the uh, theme that you have with the color theme that you have in your computer. So it's really nice and it actually works very well. So this is the uh, new dialog box. So let's move on to the um, to another uh, a feature that has been implemented and, and no many people are talking about is that uh, in build 9879 we have a, a, a storage sense finally implemented but not totally baked into the operating system. A storage sense it's a, it's a feature that you know that allows you to see what's actually filling up the uh, the space on, on your disk. As you can see if you have different disks connected to your computer you can see them as well. Uh, I've been testing this uh, this feature but if you have to add a new drive you have to restart the computer in order to see the new drive and you don't have access to the drive uh, yes, uh, um, just yet. But for example, if you go to the main drive, which is labeled this PC, you can actually get into the uh, uh, into the drive, and as you can see, you have different categories uh, color coded, and and you can see some of the um, uh, how how this how the system how, how much space each um, type of uh, data is is occupying on your uh, on your system. So as you can see, system reserve uh, is using five gigabytes in apps and games. Uh, it's, it's using less than a gigabyte. And then I got some some other picture from uh, from a Sky from a SkyDrive too. Uh, and you can actually dive in into the different categories, and you will get um, 
tips and recommendations so uh, on what to and you know what you what actions can you take to free up space of course because we're on the uh, uh, on the uh, windows drive here um you know the microsoft recommendations not to do anything but you can but one of the options that you have is to actually go to the uh, to manage what features you have installed in your system and and uninstall them if you're not using them so you can free up some of the space as you can see right here now if you go to apps for example we'll this is works the same as the app sizes like you see like in, in, in windows 8 you can click an app if you don't if you don't like it you see the amount of pieces using if you don't like it just click uninstall and we'll uninstall so um also we got save locations which allows you to change where you save files uh, by default and uh, it doesn't it, the feature is implemented but it doesn't quite work well because i can't choose a different uh, a different drive to save let's say you know pictures or mu music or videos or, or any other documents but it's something we'll implement implemented on the future um another uh feature uh, worth uh, worth noting uh, noticing in windows 10 technical preview is that uh when you go to um uh, OneDrive and then you go to sync settings now you can actually have the options to back up your app uh, data on this PC so you don't have to start from scratch if you're replacing your computer and you have to start all over again configuring the configuring the app so that's just a good addition to that now let's move on to some of the um, uh, features they are in the really early stages uh, on on the development, but they're already on the on the system, and that's uh, one feature. One feature that's um, um, one of the features is adding the uh, search box uh, to the um, uh, to the test part, and you can see now that it has like a a little of a, a mic right there. I don't want to speak too soon, but you know, I I could think that that could be part of a Cortana integration into into search but don't take my word for it just yet but you know to enable to enable this search uh, box right here on on the taskbar uh, you actually have to uh, modify the registry key a uh, registry key to enable that and you can pause the video but I have it right here you have to move to this location and actually create a uh, a deep, a deep word that's called uh, enable search box and you have to change that value to one once you do that you can restart you go to test manager and then go to the uh, Windows Explorer and just restart and you will get this feature like if you, if you don't see it just uh, right click on the taskbar go to search and show uh, search box and if you wanna if you wanna disable do the same but just click disable also um, another feature that uh, Microsoft is working on is something called continuum continuum uh, continuum it's a um, it's a way it's a new start uh, a new start menu with in a combination with the with the start screen that uh, would allow uh, two-in-one uh, devices uh, such as the uh, Lenovo Yoga Pro or the uh, Surface Pro 3 uh, that allows it to move from a, a touch uh, from a desktop optimized to a touch optimized um, uh, uh, environment and you don't have to log in and you don't have to uh, I mean you have to log out and log in to to move to move between modes um, to do this uh, you, also, uh, you also have to uh, change the registry key to see the uh, the early version and to do that you have to move right here to this location H key local machine I'm gonna show it right here because I I don't have it enabled right now so let's let's look up that key this local machine software Microsoft let's move to Windows Windows current version and then we go to the immersive shell immersive shell right there and then launcher 
there here we have to actually create another D word and call it use experience and we have to switch it to one and that's it now when we go to the start you'll see that I have the uh, the start screen but you can easily uh, see this feature but by restarting the uh, the wind explorer so we just restart and now hopefully if everything worked out okay we click the start uh, the start button and we'll see now the uh, the new the new start screen as you can see it's uh, the feature is like not working very well and, and I just press the uh, the off button okay something happened right there you, you, you can see that it's not working but you can see you have tiles and you have like uh, numbers right there you can click and have different sizes uh, this inter is interesting sizes that you, that you can see Microsoft playing with and you can unpin and pin into the taskbar and the, the places and, fr and frequent access and apps will go right here we can't access to any other settings so but you can see that Microsoft's working on this uh, on this feature to turn it uh, to turn this off so you can go back to the uh, to to this, uh, to the start menu experience just change the value of the user experience to zero click OK go to the window shell uh, let me find the uh, Windows Explorer it should be around here somewhere right here and then we just restart it again and now we should get the uh, uh, the start menu again finally there is um there is a new oh, it's, uh, have, i'm gonna have to reboot and to get get rid of that but you can see it's still working um finally there is a there's a new battery icon i can't show it right here because i'm running a virtual machine so it doesn't show the uh, the new battery icon as you used to see in uh, a vertical um icon that it shows you the status of the uh, uh, of the battery on, on your on your laptop but now has switched to um to a horizontal uh, icon and now that appears also on the uh, on the lock screen so this is just a few features and changes that's been going on on windows 10 um, as soon as i find more uh, features and changes i will i make sure to post it in a, in a new video and show it to you but for now, thank, uh, you know, I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.